So a while back, I actually moved across the country to a different state, and with that came a different house and, of course, a different place to put all of my gear, like my NAS and other things that I use, specifically the Unraid servers that I had. And uh, one of the things that was a problem with the old one is that it was very loud. And um, we can demonstrate that for you now. Not only is the noise very loud, but also the box itself ran really, really hot, and it also just generally drank a ton of power. So it heated up our office quite a lot. It was very loud, and it also just guzzled electrons like nobody's business. So with that comes, of course, the solution. Build a new box that is prioritizing noise and power consumption. So here's the new one. It's uh, basically running in the Rosewill case that I reviewed a while back. This is a 12 bay setup. There are three and a half standard three and a half hard drive bays, and uh, you know 12 of them. Uh, so it's it's pretty much a standard 4U server rack case. And with this build, I used basically. A motherboard that I could easily get eight SATA ports on and also um, run a relatively small board. So I just kind of wanted something like a micro ATX board. I have a kind of theory that smaller boards consume less power because they have less stuff on them. I could be wrong. Anywho, so this board here is the Gigabyte C246M-WU4. And uh, yeah, pretty much the main things I was looking for was the support of ECC buffered memory, so actual error correcting code memory, two slots for NVMEs if I decide to expand that later, and of course as many SATA ports as I can get. Uh, for now, running one stick of uh, crucial, just standard um, ECC memory. So the story behind that of course is that Unraid runs in RAM. You kind of want ECC RAM for that, just to make everything a little bit more stable. And as far as a uh, processor, just an i3-9100. And uh, four more SATA ports via this little IOCrest SATA card. I didn't go with any fancy RAID card on this setup. I did that previously when I was running Unraid, rather than or just when I was running um, FreeNAS, but now that I'm running Unraid, it doesn't get along too well with hardware RAID cards, so you end up having to flash them anyway. Not really very fun. So, I guess the big question is, how is it now? Well, it's quiet for one. I can't really hear it. It also consumes way less power. If we take a look at the old setup, and keep in mind, when you run these 24-7, 365, um, even a few watts is kind of a major deal. So, when we look at the idle of the old NAS, which I just kind of did the, unsci I did the unscientific thing of just literally just grabbing it from the data off of my UPS, but my UPS said that it's loaded up to 126 watts. Um, that's just over time. It pretty much hasn't changed. Um, when, it's, when it's idle and there's no drives running, that's how much the old NAS drew. It's 126 watts. If I look at all drives running full bore, uh, 153 watts. So, you know, not terrible, not amazing either. Um, and then all drives running on the new box is uh, 117 watts. Pretty, pretty decent job, pretty decent drop there. And then when we're fully idling with the new box, it's, uh, Nine, let's see, 81 watts, there we go. Yeah, had to read and check my list there. So I think that was a wild success. Um, if anybody has any more questions, comments about Unraid or anything along those lines, I might be able to do a video about that in the future. But uh, yeah, I'll put the specs of this rig 
in the video description, links to some stuff if you care. Otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. I just figured I'd drop a quick video about what I'm doing with my NAS now. <laughs>